This literally is going to go down in history as the worst launch of GPUs ever to be released. There is some pretty cool updates in regards to Intel Battle Mage, which I honestly thought was canceled. I had no idea that they were still going to be bringing this thing out. So let me know down in the comment section below how many of you are just like me and extremely out of the blue because of Nvidia just obliterating the PC gaming space. There just doesn't seem to be like really much things that are interesting, but this right here, Nvidia ended up releasing a GeForce hotfix driver solving GPU temperatures that were causing a bunch of issues, you know, to those $5,000 graphics cards that we all bought that are overheating and causing monitors to randomly not turn on for some stupid reason. Just a really lovely situation that Nvidia has created for all of us. <laughs> says shortly after Intel launched the Arc B580 graphics card, rumors ended up beginning to hit the internet about a potential launch of a new model with an upgraded memory configuration. The B580 features 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a 192-bit bus memory thing. Memory, a 192-bit <laughs> memory bus. But these rumors suggest that Intel might end up doubling the capacity to 24 gigabytes. The rumors clearly suggested that the 24 gigabyte model would end up targeting productivity rather than gaming segment, similar to the Arc Pro series. And the Arc graphics cards are already really good for productivity and content creation. They're like, they actually are, they're really good. But the problem for for somebody like me that's building computers and selling them is that intel is even harder to sell than amd i just it's i mean it sucks man because it's like people they still have that stigma towards amd and whatever intel is even worse i haven't even attempted i'll be honest i haven't even attempted to sell up a pc with an intel graphics card however i did build a custom computer for somebody uh with that and i mean it was it was actually pretty enjoyable to use so yeah man that's really it that's all i got for you guys today i've been working really really hard on converting my gaming channel over to a channel to help gamers make money and i'm trying to put as much valuable helpful content out on that channel as possible so i am a little bit out of the blue with the with the pc gaming stuff and the pc hardware stuff Nvidia has just completely killed the PC gaming space. The gra all graphics cards are just so stupidly inflated. Nobody's buying PCs because of all the political crap that's going on. Nobody has money to buy the PCs. It's like, it's just, it's a very frustrating era to be living in right now, you know? Um, and I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's interested in the PC stuff feels this feel. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other people in the PC space that are going to agree, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.